Hi guys, thanks for joining in to another episode of Dreyforce. How are you doing today? Today I want to discuss uh, the Pokemon Presents that happened two days ago. I'm so pumped. Okay, my general thoughts of the whole Presents was I'm so happy with what they presented. I was so surprised that they had a game that we didn't even expect coming. Uh, plus, we all knew Diamond and Pearl remakes were coming, but did you see Pokemon Legends Arceus? It looks so great. But first off, I want to talk about the remakes Pokemon A Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. My thoughts on those remakes are they look great and I'm pretty happy with the art direction that they went with. The chibi design that they went with was pretty good and pretty faithful to the original games and I think I'm pretty much going to buy this one. I like that they went with a faithful adaptation as I know they won't make any mistakes and it's going to be pretty much a fun game and lots to do. I'm hoping that they will add some elements from Pokemon Platinum in there. That game had more Pokemon, plus it had a Battle Frontier feature, which I'm hoping this game has. As far as adding the Giratina Distortion World, hopefully they add that to it, but who knows. It looks like it's going to be a one-to-one -one adaptation of the original Diamond and Pearl, so it probably won't have the Giratina uh, Distortion World with it, which is a bummer. I love the direction they went with this game. The art style, the new action RPG elements to it. I think it's going to be an amazing game. I think the story is a good new direction for the series. This is a new direction that they never took before, which is going into the past of Pokemon. We, we even got a cool new old school Pokeball made out of wood and steam powered, which is... I never would imagine Game Freak would go in this direction, but thumbs up. As far as Arceus, I'm wondering how he's going to be tied into the whole story. Overall, I think it's a good direction. In terms of capturing and battle, they switched it from a whole battle scene into a real-time uh, system, which I think is a great direction, and I think this is the way to go for the future. My final point I want to bring up about Pokemon Legends Arceus is that I'm wondering how they're going to involve HMs and puzzles into the mix. I think Sword and Shield really, really suffered from not having puzzles and HMs into it. The game was very linear and I hopefully they learn from these mistakes and I think they have. I think they're, they're listening to the community and it, it shows because they're taking this series to a whole new direction. Hopefully Follow Pokemon will return to this, plus hopefully you could ride Pokemon or fly with Pokemon or, or have Pokemon use strength in the real world. I'm so excited with the direction they're taking. So far the land looks pretty barren and hopefully they add more things to have it feel more alive, like towns and people. The game is a year out so I'm sure they're going to work out all the issues they have and hopefully this gives them a lot of time to work out any weird kinks that they have. Okay guys, that ends my discussion on the Pokemon Presents. Okay, what do you guys think about my thoughts? What, what do you think? Is it going to be a better game than Sword and Shield? Do you like the TV style of the new remix? Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Thanks for joining me and hopefully you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys.